Excuse me, guys. I hate to intrude. Um, are you uh, coming from Bilderberg by any chance? We're uh, in that general area. Okay. Can you? No, are you able to tell no, us what? No, if you don't mind. Okay. What What are you guys talking about there? You're not going to start. No. <laughs> We're out for a walk. Okay. Can you give us a hint as to the agenda this year? The agenda is publicly out there. We're We're just out for a walk. That's okay. Fine. No, that's fine. The agendas are public, but a lot of the times the stuff doesn't get published what's truly talked about. Yeah. With your mind stuff. I I with your mind go away. We're just trying to take an afternoon walk. Okay. Well we're just trying to document what's going on there. Stop being ridiculous. I'm not being ridiculous. Well people people are looking at this as a conspiracy theory and you guys can kinda clear clear the air right now. Because there's no a lot conspiracy, of but we're not going to start making statements either. Okay, so it's no conspiracy, but but it's kind of secretive, right? Are you guys enjoying the Bilderberg meeting? How's it going, guys? Enjoying uh, Copenhagen? Can you tell us anything about what's happening inside? Can we show you around or buy you some drinks? Or buy you a meal? You sure? I mean, we kind of have to do this since you guys are so not transparent and very so, you're, you guys are so secretive. We kind of have to like figure out some way to communicate because proper communication can solve anything. That's what I was trying to tell them. They can clear the air right now. Yeah, you guys could clear the air, get rid of the theories. There's so many people making so many bad assumptions about you guys. And you guys could get rid of that right now. Are you American? Yes, New York City. What about yourself? I came from America for this. Yes. I came from Canada. Well, go back. Really? <laughs> Why should I go back? I like Copenhagen. Do you, can we give you guys a tour around Copenhagen? Do you want to see the... There's a beautiful water fountain right up there. No. I like walking too, though. Okay, so what are you guys going to do with Putin? I mean, you guys were discussing Putin inside. Yeah, did, did Samson get in trouble for talking to us? The more quiet you guys are, the more mystery and theories you guys will bring out. And the more assumptions people are going to make, make up bad things that you guys are doing in there. Because if you're doing something good, you usually do it in broad daylight. But if you're doing something bad, you want to do it in secrecy. And it kind of seems like you guys are full of, full of you know, a lot of secrecy. To be honest with you. It's any secrecy. It's, it's a, a discussion where people come together to pay global global issues mm -hmm. uh, from all sides of the political yeah. spectrum. Yeah. Uh, I hear you try to get into Putin's mind. Any, any, any oh. You're huh? Are you guys mad? No, 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 no. I'm just working. There's obviously reasons why we're concerned. Why? Because of the type of people who are in here and the amount of secrecy and the topics no, discussed. There is no secrecy. Etan Devignon admitted. Major editors in there. Right. Didn't Etan Devignon admit that um, they were responsible for forming the European Union? I thought like that was openly admitted. That members within Bilderberg did that. Yeah, he said it in the EU Observer. David Yan actually said the Bilderberg group was instrumental in creating the, the Euro. He did say that. We don't, we don't think that everyone in Bilderberg is necessarily involved in anything yeah. nefarious, but we, we think there's an inner circle within the inner circle. I can say it's my first time here. Okay. It's, a, it's, a, it's an open discussion yeah. where people come, share ideas, mm -hmm. have, uh, there we go. Have, have conversations. Yeah. It's nothing more or less than that in my experience. Okay. But, um, Sorry, what's his name? Yeah, Willie Flask, the NATO secretary, says that policy must be implemented from uh, specific uh, political spheres. So that's, you know, Willie Flask, former NATO secretary, Chief David Yon, admitting that it sets policy. So it has to be s some kind of importance. I mean, you guys aren't discussing golf in there, obviously. Yeah, yeah, if you guys are deciding the defense budget, don't you think that should be a public discussion? There's no discussion. So Samson lied to us? 
So when Samson, the member, came out and spoke to us and I said, "I you the video." Where he yeah. It on camera. Yeah, an attendee came out and said, "You guys are talking about the defense budget of NATO, what to do with Putin, what to do with Ukraine, what to do with Iran, what to do with the internet, what to do with privacy." Yeah. When Goldman Sachs, Google, the IMF, World Bank are involved. Not to mention everybody else. If you give us one comment, we'll leave you alone. Just one small comment. One official on the record comment. Just one comment, we'll leave you alone. And you could get rid of all this. You know, the bus here is nice also. We can show you how to take the bus. I have a handkerchief if you wanna. <laughs> I wanna we, I'm just you're trying to create stories. We are, we are because you guys are the story though. You guys are the story. I, I could give you a handkerchief. You? We could also put down the cameras and talk and we could buy you guys beers. Beers are on us. I, I would say the people that invited you for, for your first time might be scoping you out to see if you'll play along or not. Buy into every conspiracy theory. No, right. no, no, we don't want to buy into the conspiracy theories. That's why no. we're trying to open up a dialogue. Yeah, you sure you don't want to? I take you can use my. I mean, you can use my handkerchief. You are sweating a lot. I'm trying to give you my handkerchief. We want to be nice and courteous about it. It's just impossible to get any kind of a no. Nobody. Yeah, but there's no obligation on anybody. No. So you know, shouldn't really be in people's faces. Right. Well, you're you're public figures now when you, when you attend something like Bilderberg. Uh, this is kind of what comes with the territory now. According to you. No, you, you'll. I think you'll see it if you attend more. I would encourage you not to, though. Um, from, from what I heard, there's some nefarious things that go on. And again, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're up to anything nefarious at all. But I can assure you, I'm not. Okay, I, I, I tend to believe you. <laughs> but I think some of the people in there are. So, just a fair, fair warning, a little heads up, I guess. I think I'm going to have to make up my own mind. <laughs> okay. Yep. Tell us what to do to help spur dialogue. We'll do it. To help spur communication between the two sides. Nothing. <coughs> the museum here is really nice too. We could give you a tour inside if you want. You gotta admit, it's pretty pretty rare opportunity for us. Yeah, I've been trying to get an interview with, with you guys forever. I started covering this in 2006, and since then... I send out emails, I call people, nothing, nothing. Nothing at all. How else are people not supposed to assume the worst when there's no communication? I mean, you guys are just really, really more implicating yourselves than anything else, which is sad because everything could be over with proper communication. You guys could go into the museum here too. My scarf is still available if you want it. They're going into the museum here, which is private property and we can't go on. They're going into a limo. I do appreciate your candidness and, and honesty, so yeah, thank you for that. Hey. Good job to do as well. Yes, yeah, exactly. Alright. Thank Absolutely. you. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Yeah. <laughs> you guys got room for one more? <laughs> I can go in the front. I could I could I could sit in the front. I'll show the leg room for you. See you. Oh, happy. What?
Yeah. yeah. Nice. Score. <laughs> nice. Good job, fellas. So, somewhat of a rare opportunity just arose as we saw a couple of Bilderberg members out for a little bit of a stroll without their security guards following them. So I uh, turned around and said, hey, are you guys coming from the conference? And uh, he said, oh, I'm coming from a conference, yes. And I said, Bilderberg? Well, you've seen the video. <laughs> and uh, there you have it. Bilderberg, yeah, in Switzerland. What happens there? Well, it keeps catching up there, it gets tapping. Mr. Kissinger, we're going to do this one. Your insight gives a lot to think about. Thank you so much.